Now question 1f, I've got 2x squared plus 2x minus 84. When I look at this, you might say, okay, I've got a number in front of the x squared. I need to do the long method or the AC me method or or a different, not just the short method or, or the, the foil method, reverse foil to uh, get the answer. But what you got to always watch out for when you're factoring is that there might be a greatest common factor. And if there is, always pull that out first because it makes life easy. What goes into each of these terms? A 2 goes into each of these terms. This is 2 times. You can go 2 times everything in here, right? So 2 times what gives 2x squared? 2 times x squared, right? 2 times what gives 2x? 2 times 1x or x. 2 times what gives negative 84? 2 times negative 42, right? And now with this black trinomial we can do the short method because it has a leading coefficient of x squared. So we just list the pairs of factors of 42 which is 1 times 42, 2 times 21, and uh, you know 3 times something and 4 times something. But we're looking for two numbers that are going to add to 1. So these two pairs have to be close together. Right, so you might think, well, how about 6 times 7, right? Because they have a difference of 1, right? So 6 and 7 have a difference of 1. And again, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 42, but that they add to positive 1, okay? So what two numbers add to positive 2 and also multiply to negative 42? Or add to positive 1 and multiply to negative 42? All right. So again, you might be looking at six and seven because there's a difference of one there, right? So what if you had a positive seven and a negative six? Wouldn't that add to positive one, right? And what happens when you multiply them? Positive seven times negative six. Is that negative forty-two, right? So this trinomial then becomes x plus seven times x minus six, right? And the greatest common factor of 2 can just stay here on the outside. Okay, and this is your final answer here. This is it. This is the answer. Now, how do we check that? Well, there's a couple of ways to check it. A few different ways to check it. But let's check it the same way we got it. So, we'll multiply the 2, the x plus 7 times x minus 6. And then multiply the 2 into everything. So, x times x is x squared. x times negative 6 minus 6x. Uh, 7 times x plus 7x, 7 times negative 6 minus 42, right? And then that becomes x squared, and what's negative 6 plus 7? That's plus 1x, or plus x, minus 42, right? And then I have this 2 that's multiplied by everything, by the, all of this on the outside, right? So if I multiply 2 in everywhere, I get 2x squared plus 2x minus 84. And that's the correct answer, right? That's what we started with. So this is the correct answer. 2 times x plus 7 times x minus 6. And of course, you could rearrange it to, to look like this. 2 times x minus 6 times x plus 7. Okay?